This is Kevin King from Pinehurst Websites and what I'm going to do today is show you how to quickly clean up a product for your website using Adobe Photoshop Elements. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this folder right here which has my photos in it. Uh, you can also go to the start menu and you can go to your computer and you can access your documents the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to iCloud Photos and I got my photo stream right here. I'm just going to double click on that and that will come up with this photo which I just shot not too long ago uh, when I was showing you how to how to do a, uh, a photo quickly using your iPhone. So I'm going to double click on this. What you would do is double click on it and then right click on it and open with Photoshop Elements or you could open it directly from Photoshop Elements in the uh, file menu but I've got my Photoshop Elements set as the default uh, viewer for my photos so I'm just going to double click on it and it will automatically open it in Photoshop Elements here. <clears throat> so now it's coming up in the expert mode as you can see on the top here and uh, I've got the crop tool selected which is right here on the left near the bottom right below the text. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to crop this down to the size that I want it uh, for viewing on my website and I'm going to crop it as tightly as possible uh, and then I'm just going to go in and check mark that saying that that selection is okay. Now I'm going to go up to check the size of this image and make sure it's the right size. So I go to image on the file menu on the top and I go down to resize and I go to image size. Uh, I, I've got this at 1493 and I'm just going to change that to 1600 which is what I like to make my photos. Uh, as you can see this keeps it uh, constrained in the proportions and if I'm resampling it or making it larger it uh, having these check mark it makes it uh, resize it in the proper manner. So I just click OK and you see it got a little bigger in here. And then I'm going to go over to the quick editing mode uh, using this tab on the top of the screen and it shows you a before and an after photo right here. So generally all I normally do is use the exposure for a quick cleanup and you can use these tabs right here and just click on one of these to get the exposure you want but I take the dial in the middle and I just move it over and as I move it over you're going to see these right here these uh, shadows will start to brighten up so let's just drag it a little left and you can see these got a little lighter but I could use a little bit more so I'm just going to drag it just a bit more and that's right about where I want it right in here so now it's mostly white here it's a little beige but I could come in and clean that up later mainly I want to get this on my website as quickly as possible so and I don't want to lose too much detail so I got rid of the outside shadows there's still a little inside shadow here but I think that's okay so as you can see the difference in the photo that looks good to me I'm going to hit back on the expert tab and that will save my changes and as you can see it's much brighter and wider on the screen now. So the next important thing is to do go to file and go to save as and the reason I use save as is that I can change the name of this photo. When I shot it in my iPhone in the iCloud it comes over as IMG 0456 and uh, what I want to do is I want to change it I'm going to I'm going to choose desktop and I'm going to save this to the desktop and uh, I'm going to call this uh, nautical, well let's, let's call it anchor, anchor jewelry nautical bracelet. And as you see, I already have a photo there. I'm just going to go over the photo that I have there with, that has that name. And the reason I'm using this name, anchor jewelry nautical bracelet, is because that will give me some SEO value on my website. When Google reads the page, they're going to see not just image 4568, they're going to see uh, this information right here and they can read that and they can tell that's what that image is about. So they'll understand that it's anchor jewelry and it's a nautical bracelet. So when they see a lot of that on their page, when they go through search results, they'll say, well this site has a lot of that on their page in the images. 
as well as the text. So it's not just the text you put on your page, but it's the name of the images that help your SEO value. And that's an important thing to remember. It's a simple little thing, but it makes a big difference on your site and the value that you get from SEO. And it's something that most people neglect to do. And they're losing out on valuable SEO uh, power that they could have on their site. So I'm going to just save that. It's going to save it. I'm going to replace the old file that I had on the desktop. <clears throat> and I just leave it on the quality that it is, which is set to maximum for a JPEG. Now that file has been saved on my desktop. We're going to go over, close these two windows, and you'll see here it is right here on my desktop. And if I were to double click it, it's going to open it in my default viewer, which is Adobe Photoshop. But I could open it in any viewer and this is good enough so that people can get a really good idea of what I have on my website. And now <clears throat> all you're going to do is you're going to go to your, uh, your administrative end of your website and you're going to upload this file. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. But thank you for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites. And again, this is Kevin King. And uh, you can check out my website, Pinehurst Websites, uh, if you'd like more information on how to clean up uh, photos and how to shoot photos quickly for your website and get the most SEO value out of your photos so that it increases uh, your website's value and helps you in your organic search rankings. Thank you.